Greetings, programs. Welcome back. We have an interesting decision in front of us. We need to choose a sentinel, and we have to choose between Duncan, who has more of an open palm approach, or Sir Royland, who has a more closed fist approach. We're going to go ahead and chat with all these people around, see, you know, the situation, and I guess go from there. Well, there's, there's Ryan. I'm carving a sword. Let's go ahead and chat with him. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. Oh, wow. It, but, oh, you know, don't you? I'm honored. Huh? Yeah. I mean, Someday, yes. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that. The feels, sword. man. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he... our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. No, enemy. he's not really our enemy. Talia told me what it means. No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. And ladies and gentlemen, war does that to children. Man. Anyone here we can chat with? I can look at the portcullis. Looks like he's putting them through their paces. Let's go ahead and have a. Let's look at him come first. Come on, come on! What did I say? Swords off, slash right, parry again. Well, he's fierce, but Sword he may up. be the person we need. Swing left, parry. Wrong. I didn't know dogs can hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, but I wanted your advice. Yeah, how are our defenses? What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, I think. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power. Especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Ooh. Okay, here's our Uncle Malcolm. Looks like he's working on his saddle. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off oh. tomorrow. Well, where are you going? First light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to I you. I guess myself. Ethan and Asher had she some bad so. blood. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. 
But you know that just as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be nice. She's grieving. She lost a She's husband. Of course, I'll be gentle. And a son. You will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. Okay. And I Why are you so sure? Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Uh oh. Are we about to get a tongue lashing for changing already? Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. Here we go. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, Ugh. please. Tell yeah. me. What would you do? What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. Decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only That's some good confidence, though. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Okay, things seem to still be on in good shape with her. So at least there's that. Duncan's over here. Looks like he's counting. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I hope we didn't break his count. And face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Hmm. That's true. If his dad thought that he'd be a good counsel, well, let's just ask him about the sentinels. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can yeah, why did you send Garrett away? Actually, I wanted to ask. Why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage. And I regret any action you That was clever. Of. That's a clever strategy. I do hope that's a good thing, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Now, uh, oh, let's look at food. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. How long can we last? How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. Ye. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family... Well, if that's what's necessary. To the house. That's what's necessary to keep the house safe, then we must. Aye, a hard choice. But it's what has to be done. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. And see, Duncan Duncan lived this. He was a pig farmer, if I recall correctly. And he's not afraid to uh, make those decisions. Give Bracer to Duncan. Oh, wow. You can go ahead and give him the Bracer right off the bat. I thought we had to wait for the Maester. 
Wait, where is the maester? Oh, there he is. Do it like you mean it. Let's go over here and have a chat. Can we... Ooh, tower. Let's talk to the maester first. Hmm. He seems like he's wondering about something. We need to talk to him last, so... Let's see what's up. Okay, this is where I was going up when the maester was talking to me initially. Oh, we can just have a look around. That's cool. Nothing really to look at but him and my sister. Give a kind of a thought here. I think I've made my choice. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, the maester. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, I am. Actually, let's see what his perspective is on it. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Or the life How much do we have? How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. Until the next time they show up. Hmm. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yeah, I'm ready. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Nice to know all the houses have small councils. That's kind of cool. Now, here's my thinking. Now, Garrod, when Lord Forrester died, or was about to die, he said the security of this place rested in Duncan's hands. I think if we give Duncan the Sentinel Bracer, he'll be in a better position to help protect it. Now, our resident man-at-arms might be upset about that, but if he's loyal, he'll stick with us. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before yeah. I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Yeah, you're both you're both worthy of it. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. I've got to go with I've got to go with Duncan. Got to go with my gut. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle, this this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel. What do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. Well, we'll deal with him. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. It's not if he understands, well, he if it, it's if he sword. cares. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small cow. Oh, let's let Roiland, Roiland speak. Deserves to hear from all of us. Let Sir Roiland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say, Sir Roiland. No, no. You chose your Sentinel. He should speak on this. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy. 
can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Yeah. Need to have a plan I B. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. And what Mother, do you recommend? What do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Yeah. You know what? We're going to use diplomacy. We're going to go ahead and, and follow our sentinel. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Ah, that's good to know. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Hmm. The thing about it is, if we make him wait at the gates, it's going to tick him off. And that's one of those things he'll see it as a challenge. So let's invite him into the hall. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. Ooh. You're okay, let's be decisive. Sit down at once. There you go. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I still want to talk to you, though. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm yeah, about told, that. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yeah. Won't he be lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my he, place? He's older. He has the right. He's not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Protective big brother. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. 
He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. No, I'm smarter than that. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. Now I need to make the decision on whether to bring Asher I'm here. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Yeah, let's get let's get Big Brother here. We need more family. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens in King's Landing. <laughs>